Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we mix and match several animal genes and, you know, just experiment with so many of the different petri dishes that we whip up in the lab to create some wonderful new creatures. And today we are back in the laboratory itself, which truly I am really beginning to think I want to make into an actual Sims 4 series, because that would be so much fun to have a 100 pets challenge where we try to breed up just random different animals together until we get to like 100 puppies or 100 cats or 100 of whatever we would call the mixes. Heck, it'd be so fun to have you guys actually physically present for being lab assistants once more. We'll have to look into that. I know I've talked about it a lot, but we'll have to look into that. But I mentioned that today, friends, because today we are actually back in the laboratory. I do hope you are ready to put on your safety goggles and your lab coat and help me out with Kiwi! Look at Kiwi! So cute! There's spots! There's spots and dots on this adorable little dog who is a cockapoo, which is a cocker spaniel poodle mix that I have completely fallen in love with. Fun fact, there's a member of my family who happens to really love poodles and is thinking about getting a poodle herself in the near future. She has had poodles in the past and is a poodle lover, kind of like my mom and dad are definitely Great Dane lovers and my uncle was a, a Labrador lover. Uh, everybody tends to like have like the breed they fall in love with, right? And if you guys have one, I would love to hear about it in the comments because it's really warming my heart to hear your animal stories lately. And I think we can all use a little bit more of that cheerfulness. But her talking about getting a poodle made me start looking into like, you know, what, what kind of mixes do poodles have? And I found the cockapoo! I know I've seen at least a couple of them in person before, but seeing the pictures of them and their freaking adorable puppies, really, really, it just, it just put so much love into my heart, friends, that I knew we had to go ahead and have Kiwi, the cockapoo, be added into our lab because I have a good feeling her puppies are going to be ridiculously adorable. And uh, I'm very excited to see how fluffy and cute her puppies will be since we are going to also have Blaze, the Portuguese water dog. Look at this floof. Look at that floof. I definitely need to do some research into the Portuguese water dogs. And if you happen to know this answer, I would love to see it down in the comments. What makes them water dogs? I know that some breeds of dog actually have very special layers to their fur, where you have water repelling fur on top and uh, fur on the underneath on your undercoat that will actually help them to stay warm and dry. And it makes it easier for them to be able to swim through water, to really splash around. They have builds that make it a lot easier for them to move powerfully through the water instead of like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to put a chihuahua in the pool, for instance. No small dog should be around a pool without having like a little life harness on for sure. Absolutely for sure. Uh, but what makes it so a Portuguese water dog can swim so well? That's a question we're going to ask ourselves, my friends, because it turns out Blaze loves splashing around. Blaze is one of the dogs that our lab assistants have brought into the laboratory because of course we have a bring your pet to work day every day. Um, and Blaze is also going to be a little bit of a troublemaker. So today we're not only going to try to see the fluffy puppies that we were already planning on mixing in a petri dish between a Portuguese water dog and a cockapoo, we're also going to be dealing with Blaze's excitement, his overexcitement, and his big size. And the fact that we turned our back for one minute, Blaze, just one minute. And you know what he did? He started jumping around the lab just as we were putting in the jeans into the Petri dishes. And the results mean that when we have puppies between these two that we're creating in the Petri dishes, mind you, to make it easier on Kiwi for sure. Then we're going to roll the dice of destiny. And when the puppies grow up, we're going to see what Blaze splashed into the Petri dishes as he was jumping around, knocking over vials, just having a good time, being his adorable, goofy self, uh, looking for like all the fun water that he like saw in the little like potion bottles, I suppose. And just thought, you know what? That looks fun. And he knocked it around. And when his puppies grow up, we're going to roll the dice of destiny. And we're gonna see if we need to randomize the puppy's coat color and pattern, if we need to randomize their fur, 
or if we need to randomize the big genes, which means we would be rolling to see if they ended up getting like some of the horn genes splashed into their petri dishes, if they're gonna end up having like gigantic fangs, all because, Blaze, you can't even see the fangs on you. That's hilarious. There we go, now you can. All because Blaze splashed the extra genetics into the petri dish. So it's gonna be fun. Fluffy puppies with a twist. All right, you guys ready? I hope you've been leaving your comments in the previous videos because that is going to make it so that you might end up becoming one of these adorable little fluffy pups. And let's give Kiwi a good pat, take her measurements, take a little bit of blood, put it, you know, all in the spinner spinner roo get some of those genetic materials from both of these two. And while our backs are turned and Blaze is jumping around, splashing unknown things into the Petri dishes, let's get the first poppers! I'm so excited! It's so fluffy! This is exactly what I wanted. A very, very, very fluffy puppy. I am so excited. Also, fun fact, I also was looking up cockapoo, but I have a random generator that picked these two dog species today. So keep the suggestions coming. I'm very excited to work on some of your ideas in the near future. And I also think it was funny that the random generator picked like two super fluffy breeds. But all right, I would like to welcome in Jellybean! Welcome little itty bitty one. And Jellybean, I love how you are named after Maya's crested gecko. As you guys know from the, like, vlogs that I have on our channel in my little, like, Siri vlog playlist, I used to have a whole bunch of crested geckos. I had 11 because I helped my friend run a crested gecko and reptile rescue. And so at one point I had 11 crested geckos when Chips and I first met, and thankfully I was able to rehome all but my last three and spend uh, the last little bit of time I had with them before my niece adopted those last three from me when we thought we were moving to Taiwan. So I love crested geckos. They're very good, easy pets, especially if you are getting into reptiles for the first time, but be ready to commit yourself to almost 20 years. So just be prepared. And Jellybean, you're going to have a little bit of that troublemaker that Blaze definitely has. You are also a couch potato and independent, my friend. Welcome, welcome. I can't wait to see what random jeans Blaze ended up splashing into that dish. All right, and let's pull up. Oh, that's a cute poppers. But we're going to be pulling up the next mix from Audrey. <gasps> Audrey, welcome. And I love the idea of doing a deer and a fox mix. Here, that needs to go down into my notes before I forget. This is very important, friends. You guys end up coming up with such great suggestions and I don't want to forget them, so gotta put them in somewhere. And Audrey, you cannot produce milk, my friend, but you ha can be vocal, loyal, and a couch potato, which sounds freaking adorable. Uh, also, I love that Audrey has two color eyes, adorable little teeny nose, and we're gonna see what Audrey's going to be transformed by thanks to uh, Blaze's jumping around. All right, next up, we're going to add in the next puppers, and let me pull up the name. And we're gonna have... <gasps> so cute! You guys, welcome to little Mossy. Mossy, welcome. I love your spots and dots and all your colors. You are vocal, a sleuth, and a bit aggressive. Interesting. I wonder what exactly brought those genes out. All right, next one up. Hello, little cutie. And then we're going to have fun time. Fun time, welcome, welcome. I love how you have, look at that tiny little face. Look at his face. This is gonna be such a cute, like look at that, look at that. That's a cute puppers. That's a cute inquisitive puppers who happens to be independent, jumpy, and quite hairy. So we've got a lot of fur that's flying off of these little pups and I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to play out when they grow up. So fun time, welcome to the little pack. We're gonna have to see what unusual traits you have actually, um, you have actually gone ahead and had. All right, let's go ahead. Thanks to your dad, jump it around. And Kiwi, you are going to be, oh, you're like, oh my gosh. Hello, this is gonna be Bulbasaur after Sir Bulbasaur, which I freaking love that name. There we go. But you cannot produce milk, my friend. However, you can be playful, a troublemaker and stubborn. That sounds like a terrifying mix to try to train. And you basically are like almost 
well, not really twins. I was gonna say you're like twins with your brother, but really you two just look very similar. Uh, for now, who knows how those genes will be changing. All right, and then we're going to do, we're gonna come on in and we're gonna have the last puppy. Ooh, man, you guys have such great ideas. I just keep randomizing the comments and you guys have such fantastic ideas for what we could crossbreed. <gasps> Hello to Flora. Flora, you're covered in spots and dots and also you already have red eyes. I'm gonna try not to be concerned. But heck and Flora, Pomeranian and a Griffin. Now you guys, you're really thinking outside the box. I am so proud. All right, Flora, you are stubborn, a hunter, and playful. I am heckin' so excited to see what these puppies are going to grow up into. And just a quick reminder, we're going to either transform their coat color, their fur, or they're going to grow up into adults with an unusual gene hiding inside uh, that will reveal itself when they grow up. But all right, Blaze! He's had a good time. We've washed him down we, in like the special room meant for hazardous materials so that we can rinse off whatever he has got on himself. Kiwi has been quite the good girl, just enjoying her snack after her checkup. And we've got a little pack of puppies to put into the puppy play yard. Jellybean, you're up first. Let's go ahead and see. And you, my friend, are actually going to have your fur type changed, which we can only do when you grow up. So let's grow you up first. Your dad has caused your fur type to change. Hello! Also, you can't really have a dragon tail? I mean, it, well, I guess it might work on your new fur type. But all right, so we're gonna actually roll the dice, the random dice once on his fur type and whatever results is because Blaze was jumping around the lab. This is why we have a no running rule in the lab. Ah! Jellybean, look at you! I love it! Also, um, your dragon tail still doesn't work, so we're gonna randomize that a couple times. Until- there you go! You got a twirly tail! <gasps> oh my gosh! So welcome, welcome to Jellybean! I love how you turned out. Imagine how different Jellybean looks just because we ended up changing the fur on him. I love this! Very different from his parents. Very much so. Alright, let's pull up the next little one. Audrey. According to the Dice of Destiny, you too ended up having your uh, fur changed. So let's go ahead and grow you up and we're gonna roll twice once you grow up. <gasps> Audrey, you're so small. Oh, she's so cute, you guys. And she also ended up having her fur changed and we're gonna roll twice this time because my dice inside my dice, the smaller dice inside of a larger dice I have, which make up the Dice of Destiny that you guys have heard about before, says two. So one, <gasps> Audrey! Okay, there's something really kind of cute about her, even with like the longer fur. I don't know what it is, but like she just strikes me. She just strikes me as very like clever and she's very loyal. I definitely, I, I, I could see her like following a child around town very in a very concerned manner, wanting to make sure that they're going to be fine. Also, I really love this extra randomness we're adding in because the kids are turning out so differently. This is awesome. <gasps> Mossy! Mossy, you are going to end up having <gasps> your coat color changed. <laughs> your precious, precious coat that I love so much. Why? Oh, Audrey, why? You're so cute. Oh, you guys, it's a travesty out of all of the dogs that we ended up getting. And I love how Mossy looks. Just look at her. We did actually end up having Blaze splash in a new coat pattern on her. So we're going to randomize four times. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Audrey. Oh, how I wish we hadn't had to do that, but I'm glad we have a little bit more randomness coming on in here. Oh, oh, moving on, moving on. Fun time. The Dice of Destiny says that you also have your fur type changed. <laughs> Just once, there's something, oh, hi, buddy. You look a lot like your dad. I like your tail. All right, your fur type is gonna be randomized once. And look at you. This is interesting. We ended up with two of them randomizing the same type of fur. So it's almost more like a genetic quirk from Blaze at this point. I love that. I do like the extra little bit of randomness, but man, I am so sad that out of all of the pups that got a coat color change so far, it had to be mossy. Phooey. All right, Bulbasaur, you're up next, my friend. 
Oh, wait, hello. Oh. You are gonna get some extra genes. What the heck, Bulbasaur? All right, so we're gonna randomize three times, and if something pops up on Bulbasaur, then that is what splashed into his petri dish. One, two, three. You guys, we have blue horns. <laughs> we have a blue horned Bulbasaur. I am, I am, I, I, and we're gonna randomize the tail because the dragon tail, no skeleton tail, no dragon tail, please. Oh my gosh, no skeleton tail. <laughs> there we go. We had to randomize till the tail worked with the fur pattern, but we have little horns. Blue horns of all things. Oh, Bulbasaur, welcome to the family. I, I, you were already on track for being mostly a normal dog, but now you just, you grew some horns. It happens in the lab. And then finally, my friends, we're going to grow Flora up and she is going to also have her fur type change. Like, what the heck? Wait, let me double check that. No, she's gonna have a color change. I misread my dice. I had to I had to do my math again. She's actually, oh, oh. Flora, why is everybody growing up with dragon tails? I don't understand this. <gasps> Flora, your face looks so much different than I thought it was going to turn out. Everybody else has had, uh, other than like Mossy has had longer muzzles, but we actually have the cockapoo muzzle, the little shorter one on Flora here. And let's wrap up by randomizing three times for her fur, one, two three oh all right i can i can deal with that we've got a randomize away from the dragon nail so we've got a little curly tail i like her <laughs> all right you guys that totally didn't turn out how i thought it would i i'm missing out the the like beauty of mossy's adorable spots uh however i really like audrey actually like there's just something about her that i find quite appealing and i do think it's funny that bulbasaur ended up with horns so it's clear that somebody wasn't like having proper protocols in the lab when it came to mixing together these genes a eh, blaze but all right guys thank you so much for joining me do please leave all of your suggestions for future crossbreeds down in the comment section and of course that gives you a chance of becoming one of our creations and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye